tonight as we come back on the air in the east and the west, the number of cases of coronavirus spiking. And in New York City, the terrible toll on the NYPD. And in Los Angeles, we talk with the medical director of the L.A. Fire Department. In New York City, more than 250 dead in just 24 hours. And new reporting this half hour as we team up with our ABC stations around the country. More than 900 confirmed cases of coronavirus in the NYPD alone. At least four dead. The stress on the 911 system. A record 6,000 calls in one day alone. WABC's Liz Cho standing by tonight. The Navy hospital ship, the Comfort, arriving in New York City. A field hospital going up in Central Park. The governor late today saying we are now beyond staggering. President Trump now extending the federal stay-at-home guidelines until April 30th. And the new estimates tonight, the potential death toll in the U.S. scientists now say as many as 200,000 Americans could die. And Dr. Deborah Burks adding that's if we do things perfectly if everyone adheres to the guidelines. In some places, checkpoints at state borders, major cities in the Midwest bracing, Chicago and Detroit, and what they're seeing already. The stories from the front lines tonight, the well-known neurosurgeon who has died, the Miami ICU nurse who has died as well, a doctor, a grandfather of six, and marathon runner in intensive care tonight. And the shortages, not just protective gear, masks, and ventilators, but supplies, including Tylenol. In California tonight, the surge now being seen, ICU visits doubling. And in Washington State tonight, the choir that rehearsed earlier this month, keeping their distance, now reports tonight at least 45 members have been diagnosed or are ill, reports at least two dead. Tonight, cases doubling in Louisiana this weekend alone. And inside one Louisiana church, more than a 1,000 gathering. And in Florida, the pastor who urged congregants to attend Sunday services is now under arrest. The new questions tonight over masks. Should Americans, if they have them, be wearing them? Would it help? What the scientists, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, are now saying. And Dr. Jen Ashton, right here again tonight, answering your questions. This is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening as we come back on the air tonight with another half hour of news as the toll grows across this country and as the president now extends those guidelines until April 30th. And we heard from the president late today who said this is a...